Hello again. To the, all those who have watched my previous video, this is the final version of the Wii Wheel Pro. Yes, that is what I have called it. This is the Wii Wheel Pro. It is a fully working wheel, steering wheel, with pedals for Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 8, and for PC with software. So, um, it's got the same features as before. It's got a Wii remote implemented in, which is the actual connecting to the Wii U, Wii, and whatnot. Then it's got a nunchuck attached to it that allows for the steering to work. I'll get into that in a sec. This is the plug that goes to the pedals. And this duct tape up here is an LED indicator. So it basically just shows that that LED as well as the the players will flash on the Wii remote. So the wheel itself is copper tubing, soft copper. It turns very smoothly, has a big turn radius, and trust me, it's very fun to mess around with. <laughs> so, this only goes up and down because, of course, this controls left and right. This is the Z button on the nunchuck. There is no C button because there's not really a need for it. This is for interface menus and the A button's hot glued in because of the pedals that I'll show you in a sec. So let's take a look on the inside. Of course, here's the Wii Wheel Pro official uh, thing. Not licensed by Nintendo, but made by me. This is the inside. So. You've got your Wii remote here, the duct tape and packing tape is just to hold it down so the buttons on the outside work properly. The A and B are soldered to, to this right here, which goes into the plug, which goes to the pedals. And then the joystick goes up into there, and the indication LED, that right there is the, the Z button. It's the nunchuck circuit board. And this is the potentiometer, which actually controls the steering, one of the most important parts of this entire circuit. You have the nunchuck wired to the uh, Wii remote right there in the plug, and just AA batteries are relocated just for easy use. And I really quite like this system. So, let me set this down and grab the pedals. So, these are the pedals. They're controlled by push buttons, unlike in my previous version, because the push buttons are so much more reliable than uh, than the the uh, what were they called? Paper clips. They're so much more reliable than the paper clips because, well, they're more stable. They don't bend. You can press on them a lot easier. They're more they're more structurally available. This is the main cord that plugs into that plug back there. And of course both of these are made the same except for different sizes. This is the B button. This is the A button. And if you want to use the pedals you grab. It's just the standard USB because it's got four things. But basically it just plugs into here just simply like this. I hate USBs. Why can't why can't I? Okay, there we go. So then if I hit the A button, the LED will uh, turn on. And that shows that it does work. I might put up a tutorial on how to actually wire this, but for now in the description I will have a schematic that I made for the electronics. One nice feature I want to point out is that this down here is rounded, so if you have like your foot on the floor, it doesn't hurt your foot with the hard edge. And that's basically it. So, 
I'll be signing off. I hope this video doesn't have bad quality like the other one I did. If it does, I'm very sorry because I'm using my camera, which has a bad mic. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for taking your time to watch this. And I'll see you next time.